Hello, and welcome to the first ever episode of Keeping Up with Steelworkers. In this programme, we follow Darren Brearley and his family. His wife, Jane, his children, Curtis, Dylan, Tegan, and his baby, Baby, as well as his mother, Joan. In this episode, we witness the struggles, the bonding, and the absolutely baffling conversations of their home. If you are watching from down anywhere south of the A1, I would advise you to turn on subtitles. Now, all set? Jolly good. I must warn you, upper-class citizens might find the following program disturbing. So, please say your name for the viewers. I wouldn't have a name if good old Maggie Thatcher had her way. Taking away my livelihood, working down pits for 72 hours a day. <laughs> what? I'm supposed to be grateful? <laughs> Tory party, I tell them. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher's a conservative. No, no, conservative's the, um, the bloke that puts the glass box behind your ass. Oh my god, the other day, right, I made me send a smashing bacon butty before I went down pits all day. So I go upstairs to grab my hat and shovel, and I come downstairs, and the darn thing was gone. My, my mum nicked it. She was sat on the sofa, biting away at my bacon butty. The other cheek of it. Sorry, what were your question? I asked what your name is. Oh. Kids are a nightmare. God, they're not that bad. When Dylan were it, he asked for his first pint of Stella. You didn't let him have one, did you? No. Oh, good God. Ah, Frank were drinking at his age. He ended up a legend in the working men's club. Really? Yeah, died there. Apparently his ghost haunts it. This is Baby. Mum and Dad haven't decided on a name yet. I try and give it a proper Yorkshire name. Like what? Pudding. If you ask me, so this one's for me. Yeah, you haven't even named the baby yet. Well, we're close to deciding. About as close as India is to Pakistan. They're right next to each other. They're not, are they? They are. Oh, back in my day, I failed geography. I mean, there were about four people in the classroom. They couldn't even afford proper lessons. I mean, we had English. I know my ABZs. Your ABZs? Yeah. You mean your ABCs? I know what I meant and I meant what I said. The family have gathered in front of the telly to watch the footy. Dylan is an avid supporter of Sheffield Wednesday, whereas Curtis enjoys the players of one Sheffield United. First time in this second half. They didn't get the header clear. Hoyland in by Palmer. Watson lays it down. Great left foot shot, bright yeah. no. This is what went to best of life. Do what? You heard. You can't even score an open goal. So that's my face, little man. I just did. Oi! Behave yourselves. Now, let's have the rest of the night in a calm moment. And Mark Bright's 15th goal of the season. No offside. Watson will get to this. Into Carton Palmer, who really had to dig it out from underneath him. Our new policies are, we're going to blow up Newcastle. 